So I'm joined by the leader of the Liberal Democrats in the Lords, Dick Newby. I mean, how much trouble could the government be in? Well, I think there are a number of issues where the government clearly doesn't have majority support for its stance in the House of Lords. The obvious one is on the question of giving rights to EU nationals, where I think there's barely a soul in the whole House of Lords who think the government's behaving in a reasonable way. I think there are other amendments on uh, the role of Parliament at the end of the process. I think that we've got an amendment on having a, f a referendum so that the people have a final say, having kicked the process off. All of these are gathering a lot of support in the House. How far are you prepared to push it? Well, the role of the House of Lords is to ask the Commons to think again if they've got it wrong. We will do that. Um, if the Commons then sends the bill back, um, it's unusual for the House of Lords to send it back to the Commons many times. But we'll see what the votes are in the House of Lords uh, and the mood and temperament of people as the debates go on. There have been warnings from some in government, from some uh, prominent Brexiteers, that were the House of Lords to in any way seek to frustrate this bill, that could prompt demands for the abolition of the House of Lords. What impact has that had? I don't think that's had any impact because it's clearly just sort of empty sabre rattling and nobody is suggesting that we stop the bill. There's a big difference between saying we want to amend it and saying we want to block it. And we're saying we want to amend it, we're not saying we want to block it. Is there any evidence that the government would be prepared to take on board some of your concerns, for example, over the rights of EU nationals? Have you received any sort of word or inkling that they might look at that? Not at this stage, but we wouldn't really. I mean, governments normally take things up to the wire, see if they can hold their position, and then only give way on something when they realise that it's completely hopeless. And I suspect they're not quite at that point yet. So for those who might have hoped that the House of Lords could possibly be a last-ditch resistance to Brexit, they're barking up the wrong tree. They're barking up the wrong tree. Um, the House of Lords is not going to stop this bill being triggered by the 31st of March. What it will do is ask the government to think more carefully about how it involves Parliament and the people and how it treats people currently living in the uh, UK. But those are very different things from saying we're just going to throw it out.